Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about vibrato a little bit. So vibrato is a musical device that is used by many singers and also by many instrumentalists, probably copying the sound of certain singers. Vibrato is something that brings a richness to the tone. And so it's used in, in different ways, depending on the kind of music vibrato is used more or less. Uh, but it's, it's something that can really make an instrument stand out. So I want to talk about what vibrato really is. And so in terms of physics, it's really just a periodic oscillation of the pitch. So when you're singing a note with a certain pitch and you have vibrato, that means that the pitch is not staying constant. It's oscillating up and down. Usually does that around five to eight times per second. So that would be the frequency of the vibrato and the amount that the pitch oscillates it's usually less than a semitone so this is referred to as the depth of the vibrato when you have a voice or an instrument that is using vibrato it usually also comes along with some variation in the sound and the loudness of the sound or the amplitude of the sound so that is something that is separately called tremolo. And it usually also comes along with some periodic variations in the timbre. And so maybe the various fundamentals are shifting their amplitudes by different amounts as we have this variation in pitch. But the basic effect is the variation in pitch. So I'm gonna have a quick demo of vibrato and that'll allow us actually to see what these variations of pitch look like. So here is a, a physics of vibrato video from the internet. Okay, so that, that uh, what you're looking at is a spectrogram. So this is, you heard the, the singer using vibrato, especially on that last held note. And this is showing all of the frequencies present in that note. So the fundamental frequency is down here, and then these are all of the higher harmonics. And you can clearly see that the pitch is oscillating up and down. So this is five, four seconds, this is five seconds. And so within one second, it's oscillating up and down five or six times. And so that would be a frequency of five or six hertz for her vibrato. Okay. Now, what is it that, what is it that uh, causes this vibrato? So in the voice, it's actually not totally understood. Uh, what is understood is that the vibrato has, is associated with the variations in the tension of the various muscles that control the vocal cords. Okay, so there's oscillations in the tension of both the vo vocalis muscles that go through the vocal cords, as well as the cricothyroid muscles that control them from the outside. And these oscillations are almost like a reflex. They, they kind of happen naturally in certain types of singing. Uh, and singers typically control the amount of vibrato, whether whether vibrato is turned on or not, or or how much um, it's emphasized, uh, but not so much the frequency of the vibrato. So it's almost like a reflexive oscillation, almost like a, a tremble in in those muscles. Now with instruments, the vibrato is controlled much more by the player. So with a, a violin or a cello, uh, this happens when you basically rock your finger back and forth. So that's slightly lengthening or shortening the string and so varying the pitch. Uh, with a guitar, because you have the frets, what you can do is just alter the tension a little bit, similar to bending a note. So altering the tension in a periodic way gives you something like a vibrato. And with a saxophone, uh, that, which is what I play, the vibrato would be achieved using your jaw, basically maybe just increasing or decreasing uh, the amount of pressure on the reed. And that would be a common device 
say in the latter part of a held note uh, when you're when you're playing. So I think this is also how vibrato is often now used, say in popular music by singers. You would have a steady tone and then towards the latter part of that for a held note, then you often hear people using vibrato.